Welcome to another Learn in Gain session on ITIL. In this video we will talk about IT Service Continuity Management. Before we get into details, we need to understand what is continuity, how it is different from continuous and continual. Let's consider an example of the electric cable link broken. Here electricity is the service provided. When the link is broken, there is no electricity transmitted. Here the electricity service is completely interrupted. The electricity service cannot be restored anytime in the immediate. Electricity has to be routed through another channel. The electricity service will not be available for some time completely until it is being routed through another channel. This is called continuity. Continuous is a continuous line between two points. Continual is step-by-step -step movement from one point to another. Continuity has a break, starts again before reaching end point. I guess, you should be having a clear understanding on what is the difference between continuous, continual and continuity. Let's look at more information on IT service continuity. The goal of ITSCM is to support the overall business continuity management process by ensuring that the required IT technical and service facilities can be resumed within required and agreed business time scales. There are four stages in IT service continuity management. Stage 1. Initiation. Initiation talks about identifying threats and risks so a policy can be defined and communicated. Stage 2. Requirements and Strategy. This stage talks about business impact analysis, risk assessment, business continuity strategy and so on. Stage 3. Implementation. This stage talks about developing continuity plans recovery plans, prevention and mitigation measures. Stage 4. Ongoing operation. This stage talks about education, awareness and training, review and audit, test, exercise, improve your plan routinely. IT service continuity management should be driven by business risk which is identified by business continuity planning, and ensure that the recovery arrangements are aligned to the identified business impacts, risks and needs. Hope, we were able to provide some basic insights on IT service continuity management. For more videos, please visit our website www.learnandgain.in. You can also subscribe to our channel on YouTube. We would be publishing more videos on ITIL concepts. You can also visit us on facebook.com slash learn and gain. Thank you, and have a nice day.